my friends, we're going to integrate x times e to the negative ax squared from zero to infinity, and it's gonna be awesome. This is super short. We're gonna do a u substitution where we set u equal to negative ax squared. We'll take the derivative to get du dx equals negative two ax. And if we rearrange this a little bit for x dx, we get du over negative two a equals x dx, if we just rearrange this equation. Now, in terms of our limits, x is gonna go from zero to infinity. This, this is a pretty lame infinity symbol. Anyways, uh, u will go from zero, because if you plug in zero for x, u is zero, uh, to negative infinity, because as x goes to infinity here, as x goes to infinity, see this? u is going to go to negative infinity, right? So with those limits in here, we'll plug that in. So we now have the integral of e to the u because that's what u is. u is negative ax squared. And then instead of x dx, we substituted in this du over negative 2a. We have our new limits from zero to negative infinity. Okay, at this point, you know, we can integrate no problem because the integral of e to the u is e to the u itself. So this negative one half a gets yanked out of the integral and we're integrating e to the u, which is e to the u, and we'll just evaluate it at the these limits from as to negative infinity. Now I set this up as a limit as some other variable, b goes to negative infinity of e to the b, because we can't just plug in infinity, uh, minus evaluated at zero, so e to the zero. Now this limit term becomes zero, this right-hand term becomes one, anything to the power of zero is one, and simplifying this becomes one over two a, because these two negatives cancel, and that's literally it, you know, that's, that's our integral uh, in all its glory. <laughs> Uh, hang in there. More integrals you do, the better you'll get. Uh, you can survive. Hang in there. Cheers.